Hi everyone. It seems like no time since Jimmy arrived with us, but it's actually about three months now, so I thought it was time for an update on how he's getting on. So, in a nutshell, Jimmy is a completely different dog. We've gone from a dog that didn't want to come anywhere near me, that wouldn't look at me, to really quite a cheeky monster of a dog who's always up for a bit of a cuddle, comes and sees what I'm doing, and loves to charge around the garden barking. Not quite what I started off with. We've been through an exploratory phase, initially checking out the contents of the toy box. He liked to take everything out, bring it into the garden. Daisy, of course, would then take them back in again because she prefers the toys to stay inside. And then he got bored of that and decided he'd try it on with some things that were on surfaces, such as my bookcase. And this is one of his handiworks. A few bits missing there. I don't think we can make a lot of sense of that one. And then there's this coaster that I stupidly left too close to the edge. So I've become very tidy and now everything on the surfaces are out of his reach or protected. And I'm still quite careful about what I leave available for him, even though he hasn't done that for a little while now. I think it's just a phase he's gone through. When it comes to walking, at first I was just using a collar and lead, but he found that quite scary having the collar put on. And I found that once he was happy to accept the collar going over his head, for his house collar going over his head, he was okay to slide his head into a harness as well. So I've been walking him more recently in just a harness with two leads attached, one to the front and one to the back. And that seems to work quite well. I have used the collar and lead again on him more recently when he's had to wear his coat because I don't yet have him a coat with a slot for the harness on the back and he seems much better now about having his actual collar put on for walking out. Initially on walks he was pulling and this is something you sometimes see in a nervous dog. It was not that he wanted to get away from us, I think he was just walking fast to get through that scary experience as quickly as possible. He was quite happy to be walking out in front of the other dogs, but if I walked with someone else and we separated them, he was not keen to be going in a different direction and very grateful to move back to join him with the others again. So although he liked to be in front, he needed to know that the others were there behind him. He is very responsive to my body language on a walk, so having him without the collar on is fine because he notices which way I'm turning and comes with me. I don't need the directional control that you get from having the collar. However, after about six or eight weeks, he started feeling calm enough that he could allow his prey drive to surface. And we've discovered that squirrels are a bit of a nemesis for Jimmy. He gets very excited about squirrels and he hates them with a passion. So whenever there might be a squirrel around, it's always good fun. In his efforts to get to them, he'll back away from me and try to chew the lead. So we're working on that to try and make him feel a bit calmer about squirrels. So when Jimmy first arrived, he was too nervous to actually take a treat from my hand. I had to toss it in his general direction before he'd have it. Now, however, we've gone completely to the opposite end of the spectrum and we need to work on taking treats without taking my fingers as well because he's rather enthusiastic. I also found that he didn't want to have anything he needed to lick off my fingers like Gandalf's cheese and now he's very happy to come and have some of that as well. So that was about having to come up to me and lick rather than him not wanting to have the cheese in itself. To build his connection with me, we've been working on learning his name and I'm using this to help when squirrels are around and just build a stronger connection with him on walks. We started in the garden and now when we're out on walks, I remind him of his name and he comes and has a treat. Of course, to start that, we needed to get to the point where he could take a treat from my hand because that wasn't going to work before. We're also practicing a little game called nose touch. So this is helping with him around treat so he doesn't take them too vigorously. He has to touch my hand before he gets to have the treat. And our next step with that is to take that out on a walk as well as a way of working with the dog if he's in a difficult situation. He's currently going through a bit of a barky phase. Oh, there he demonstrates for you. So that was because my neighbours opened the gate. 
he gives this deep alarm bark if anything bothers him such as meeting a person unexpectedly on a walk or in this case someone next door and he's not sure what's going on so we've sorted that out now he's feeling a bit calmer and moving on to think about his relationship with Gandalf this really has gone from strength to strength and they're very much partners in crime now they like to start the day with a good bounce around the garden having a bit of fun playing a bit of bitey face and chasing maybe a bit of zoomies mixed in there for good measure and Gandalf has taught Jimmy how to chase down the garden for the squirrels and bark at those which is something we now need to work on Gandalf's also happy to share his toys with Jimmy they both like to play with a squeaky ball but Gandalf is not so keen on the teddy bear which is Daisy's favourite and when Jimmy has that Daisy does like to take that back off into her crate where she stores her toys it does make me wonder how Gandalf got on before Jimmy arrived he never really did very well trying to play with Daisy because he's a bit too boisterous and fierce about his playing for her but Gandalf and Jimmy are really well matched in this department it's a match made in heaven to put it mildly and that means of course Daisy's happier too because Gandalf isn't trying to play with her he's playing with Jimmy so with so much change oh more noise in so much change in such a short time who knows where we'll be in another three months check in later to find out bye for now Are you a bit silly? Are you? Are you a bit silly?